Greeting to all panels. My name is Chiao Alung with metric number 194737. I'm here to present you my final year project, which titled Assessing Malaysian Knowledge Towards Hawksbill Turtle, Aramochelos Imbricata, Conservation and Seriousness Towards Hawksbill Turtles Related Crimes. Public participation in sustainable wildlife management is the indispensable key to sustain the conservation effort in the long run. Public participation is closely influenced by how they see the importance of the species as well as the obligations stipulated under the laws. Regulators should consider that public perceptions towards wildlife offence may vary due to different level of access to species and its information. For example, people living in rural areas may have problems to access to wildlife information as compared to urban citizens. Therefore, assessing the actual public perception associated with different social demographic backgrounds towards the implementations of law spell out deeper insight for inclusive management. This also elucidates the public support and willingness to participate in protecting wildlife species. Moreover, greater understanding on the legal provisions encourage voluntary compliance among general public. More effort should have been done to raise awareness about law, especially with indigenous and local community that may have difficulty in interpreting the legal term used in legislation. As for research objective, this study is aimed to access knowledge level of Malaysian towards Hawksbill turtles and to evaluate the perceptions of Malaysians towards the seriousness of Hawksbill turtles related wildlife crimes. Hawksbill turtles are classified as critically endangered species under IUCN Red List. Malaysians should understand the economic effect that could be brought by Hawksbill turtle and protect them as they act as one of the key attractions in Malaysia tourism sectors. This study is also meant to prevent further exploitations on Hawksbill turtle by instilling deeper legislature understanding among Malaysians. This is crucial as local support play important role in successful implementations of legislation, especially when managing a creature who used to migrate throughout its whole lifespan. Besides, better legislation comprehension among publics promote voluntary compliance at the ground level of the communities. Literature review on the previous research have been done to reveal deeper understanding on the issue, which includes international trade, importance to an ecosystem, Conservation uh, efforts under IUCN, Malaysian legislation framework, and challenges to conserve Hawksbill turtle. Moving on, questionnaire survey was used to collect data for this study. Using Crinchy and Morgan's 1970 formula, 385 of the sample size were required at minimum to ensure that the statistical sample is valid and representative of the entire population and end up 419 responsive respondent turn up selected by random to answer the questionnaire. As this survey was conducted online, mixed mode survey was used to ensure all members of the populations are given equal chance to participate in the survey. This questionnaire survey consists of three sessions, which are social demographic factors, knowledge about hospital turtles, and perceptions toward the seriousness of hospital turtles related crime. For each session, different statistical analysis was used to achieve the objective of this study. Moving on, no skill was used uh, for session A, while for session B, the average mean score of the respondent will be classified into low, medium, and high knowledge level based on this skill. Next, for so section C, Liquor skill as shown was used to determine the level of seriousness of crime. About 50.1% of the respondents were male, while the rest were female. As for age distributions, only 1% age below 18 years old, 775 were between 18 to 45 years old, and 21.5% were above 45 years old. Pertaining to education, the respondents to the survey have a wide range of educational background as shown in diagram. This study has attended by several employment backgrounds of respondents. Students comprise the majority in this study. 
followed by private sectors, employee, civil servant, self-employed individual, retired individual, and unemployed individual. Besides, this study was successfully reached out to all the states in Malaysia with the minimum two individuals from Labuan and maximum 56 individuals from Selangor and Perak states. Answering to the first objective of this study, population status and significance of Hawksbill total score the highest average mean of 0.7721, spell out the high knowledge level among respondents on the critical level of the species and the importance of the species itself to the marine ecosystem. Apart from that, respondents have medium knowledge level concerning the existing condition of Hawksbill total conservation in Malaysia, also, they have medium knowledge level pertaining to legal provisions for hospital turtle conservation. This result indicates that greater exposure to the recent issues and legal provisions pertaining to hospital turtle conservations could help gain sense of belongingness of the masses in conserving hospital turtle at local scale. Next, associations of social demographic factors with knowledge level. The result shows that gender does not have an effect on the notion level concerning hospital turtle protections. And people below 35 years old know more about hospital turtle than elder generation. Degree dip diploma and postgraduate holders are more knowledgeable than those with lower education level. Respondents from Sabah and Drunganu had relatively higher knowledge level than respondents from other states in Malaysia. And this can be related to the stricter enforcement of hospital turtle protection at these states. Education level of the respondent exhibits statistically significant impact on the knowledge level on hospital turtle conservation. And this can be attributed to greater exposure to wildlife topic. Moving on, with the liquor scale of one being not serious at all and five being extremely serious, respondents regard illegal commercial captivity breedings and biting hospital turtles product for medical purpose as moderately serious. Meanwhile, illegal possessions, illegal re-export, export, import, smuggling, hunting, selling of hospital turtle product and consuming hospital turtles eggs were regarded as very serious. Above all, illegal hunting of hospital turtle was perceived as the most serious crime over the other wildlife offenses. This result indicates that respondents perceived moderately serious of all of the wildlife crime involving hospital turtle, elucidates public support to protect the wildlife and willingness to participate in wildlife management. Based on the finding, Gender does not have an effect on the perception toward the seriousness of hospital turtle related crime, and younger generation perceive more seriously on hospital turtles related crime and as compared to the elders. Again, education level does not have an effect on how people perceive such wildlife crimes. Moving on, respondents from Sava perceive statistically more serious of the crimes involving hospital turtle than those from Pahang and Terengganu, which is in align with the absolute protection of, on turtles in Sabah water region. Multiple regression analysis revealed that educational level poses a statistically significant impact on how the people perceive the seriousness of hospital turtles related crime. And this result is supported by a study conducted in Nepal in 2017. In conclusion, the study revealed medium knowledge level on the responding community concerning the legal provisions for hospital turtle conservation, seeking for more exposure to regulatory protections of hospital turtle. Next, no significant difference between genders or knowledge level and perceptions concerning hospital turtle protection, and this might be attributed to the similar life experience and value to natural resources surrounding them. Education level manifests statistically significant impact on the knowledge level and public perceptions toward hospital turtle related crime, signal that more environmental education is needed to raise awareness. Last but not least, respondent perceive wildlife crime involving hospital turtle as moderately serious, urging for absolute legal protection to boost hospital turtle population in Malaysia.
Before I end my presentations, I would like to present special appreciation appreciations to my supervisor, Dr. Ami Hamza Shraarai, for assisting throughout my research. And that's all from me. Thank you for your time and cooperation.